Uh, uh, thank you, Governor. Thank you for coming to National. My name is Larry Finkelstein. Uh, you, your main, a lot of your experience has been in the field of foreign affairs. And terrorism seems to be very high on that agenda, is very high on that agenda. And we don't seem to have any conception that is, is workable about how to deal with it. Our answer to terrorism is to drop bombs on it. Um, what's your conception of terrorism? And what would be your strategy for the United States in defending us and our, the rest of the world against these threats? Well, my answer is, I, by the way, I gave a, a speech on this at the uh, Southern uh, New Hampshire University. It was a, a speech that uh, was long and a little tedious. I will admit, I almost fell asleep myself. <laughs> so I like spontaneity, but, but it was all right. It had some specific points. Here's, here's my answer. Here's my answer. We need, and my first premise is this. One is that there is a threat from Al-Qaeda. There is. There are moderate Islamic movements, our friends, a majority, and there is a jihadist threat that is committed to destroying parts of our country. I, I firmly believe it. Now, uh, what has precipitated and strengthened this movement is our involvement in Iraq. And here's how. Because it has diverted our attention and our resources from a true international effort to build support against terrorism. But also, uh, I would be positive in the way that I would deal with a Muslim world that hates us. And I believe we need to reach out to the Muslim world, to more moderate Arab countries, to, to, to a generation that I believe 60% of those under 18 in Muslim countries hate America. And what I would do is I would sponsor a, an envoy to countries that are Muslim countries that we haven't reached out to. I would have a Marshall Plan of ideas and programs to say to the Muslim world that there's a new America. Let me be specific. Number one, um, education. Now, why is it that in Egypt and Saudi Arabia in elementary school, uh, first and second grade, a good part of their history curriculum is to say that America is the cause of all the problems in the world? Now, you know, we haven't exactly been exemplary models, but that has to change. I would have more people-to-people -people programs. I would have more student exchanges. I would reach out to intellectuals in the Muslim world. I would reach out to clerics in the Muslim world. I would have programs, you know, today, our main, quote, propaganda machines, our Radio for Europe, Bureau of International Broadcasting. You know what? I would change those. I would replace them with a new form of communication that we can have with Muslim countries. It's digital. It involves blogging. It involves new technology. It involves reaching out. It involves having a special envoy, as I said, for Muslim countries. It involves also taking concrete policies and saying that we care about resolving the Middle East crisis, the Israeli-Palestinian. It involves talking to Syria, which we don't do. It involves talking to Iran. It involves getting a Middle East peace process going that has an envoy and says, we are going to support an Israeli-Palestinian plan along the lines of the 67 borders. We're not going to allow Israel to be destroyed. And that has to be a common marker. But we're also going to look at a Palestinian state and a future status of Jerusalem. We've abandoned all those concepts. It's called diplomacy. It's called engagement. It's called reaching out. It's called saying to the world that we're not going to use our military force. That we're going to talk. And we're going to have diplomacy. And we're going to have dialogue. 